this is Barbara Taffy. Thank you for um, joining me at the Alternative Health and Beauty channel. Today I'd like to talk to you um, about forgiveness and uh, the benefits of forgiveness and some of the common misconceptions that I hear a lot. Uh, a lot of people will say, well, you know, this person or this company or organization, whomever, really did some terrible things to me. Uh, you know, I'm not going to forgive and forget. Um, they don't deserve to be forgiven. Um, it's something that I might have a lot of difficulty getting over. And I certainly understand that. Um, I mean, some people have had some really, really tragic things happen to them. And uh, they might take, you know, so long to get over. And some people never really, truly get over them. Uh, but forgiveness doesn't mean that you're saying that what this person did to you is okay. It doesn't even mean that you want to allow them to continue to be in your life or certainly not in the same capacity. Um, it doesn't mean that you think that they're a good person or even that, you know, you want to, you want to do, continue to do things with them and have a relationship. Um, you know, obviously some relationships are harder to part with than others. You know, if you're, if you're working for, um, a company and you, you, maybe you're not ready to leave there yet, you do have to get along or if they're a family member, it's, it's more difficult to break up them with a friendship, but forgiveness is something that you really do just for yourself. Um, when you forgive someone, basically you're letting them know that you're moving on. Um, you are no longer harboring these resentments. What has happened to you has been in the past. The um, future is in present or what matters and um, you're just not going to harbor that ill will towards that person. Um, when you do have bad feelings for a person, you wish them harm, they're not affected by it. They don't even know what's going on most of the time. They're going on with their life. What it is, is it's a poison, it's a toxin that's inside of you and you're really just hurting yourself. Uh, you can actually forgive someone without even telling them they're forgiven. Uh, you can forgive someone who may no longer even be living. So it's not that you're letting them off the hook. It's not that um, you're going to tolerate certain behavior. It's certainly not a sign of weakness. Forgiving is just really about letting go and being p at peace with yourself. Uh, you're, if something was really terrible done to you, you may find it difficult to not think about it a lot, you know, and just do your best. Gradually with time, it'll become less and less, but, you know, bitterness um, and hatefulness and being spiteful towards that person um, is just not going to do you much good. And I am not talking about um, someone being free from the consequences of their actions because everybody is responsible for the consequences of their actions. It's just that, um, you know, the, the ill will in your heart um, is not doing you any good. You know, you shouldn't give them um, free rent in your brain or your heart. Um, and if something needs to be addressed, um, if it was a legal matter, I mean, there there's things that you may need to pursue to go on and it's, it's a matter of, you know, it's not like you're getting revenge. Um, it's, there's justice. And so I am in no means saying that you should not ask for justice. It's just that, you know, when you give up that ill will towards somebody and you forgive them in your heart,